All right, Nick, thanks for your patience. Um, first things first, the Ford Fusion or Ford uh, EcoSport that you chose, right color, right? Yeah. Equipped just the way you said it had to be equipped. The yeah. SE model? Good. Please don't forget it comes with full factory warranty. 3636 for the uh, comprehensive part 560 for the uh, powertrain. Um, do not forget you get roadside assistance for five years. You're going to get Sirius radio for three months. Um, what did I tell you we'd do if you found the same vehicle anywhere else on the planet uh, for the same pri or for a cheaper price with the same benefits we offer? What did I tell you we'd do? Uh, get a check back for whatever that difference You was. can't pay too much here. If you don't like it during the first three days, what did I tell you could do? You can bring it back and exchange Okay, it. you're going to get maintenance for three years. That's going to save you a couple hundred bucks. You're going to get nitro filling your tires, extending your tire. Uh, life and you're going to get res resist all extending your paint life. Okay, all that comes with the price that you saw on the internet, so there is no surprise. There's your price, there's what we'll buy yours for, there's your taxes and fees over here. Are going to give you choices. Okay, short term, very few people in North Carolina will show you this payment. All right, it's really, really high, but it's also really, really good. You pay fewer finance charges, you trade quicker if you so desire because you build cash value faster and you pay it off sooner. Okay, 60 months, payments way more comfortable, way more flexible, still gain all the uh, benefits I talked about up here, just do it in your own time frame. 48 months is the best of both worlds. Cash down, cash down reduces your finance charges, cash down reduces your payment, F cash down reduces your balance to finance which allows you to pay it off sooner. Which one of these works best for you? Five, seven, or nine? Be all right with the five. Okay. Short term, save the most money. Long term, more flexible, more comfortable. Mid term, best of both worlds. Which one works best for you? Yeah, I don't want to take it out any more than sixty months. Okay. But uh, that payment's just—I don't—I don't think I can afford that. Well, I know you can afford it, you just don't want to make it, okay? Yeah. Um, Nate, we, we talked earlier, um, this vehicle's in your price range, I understand. This would be the highest payment you've ever had in your entire life, right? Definitely. You will quickly get used to it. I need your okay right there. I just don't think the budget will allow for it. I mean, you're just giving me a little bit more from a trade over here. And okay. Right. Well, I'm not giving you anything for your trade. The market has decided that's what your trade is worth. Um, our used car manager doesn't decide what vehicles are worth. Nobody here at this dealership decides what vehicles are worth. The market does, but I understand. Um, look, how would a payment of maybe 80 bucks a month less sound to you? It's getting closer. Okay. Well, I can do that, but I don't think you want me to. Okay, the difference between the S and the SE, you told me that the wheels make that vehicle. You like the wheels? Yeah. You told me that the big screen, the much bigger screen on the SE model was nice. You like that? Yeah. How about the collision mitigation system? Yeah. Blind spot. Okay, those things are 80 bucks a month, all right? But you know what? Don't, don't think of it that, sort, that way. You got the you don't have a calculator handy, do you? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna have you keep that pull that thing out. Divide 30 uh, 80 by 30. 267. <sighs> Is all this cool stuff worth two dollars and sixty seven cents a day to you? Uh, yeah, it, it is, but it's uh, more of a, a budget thing. I just I, I'm not paying more than six hundred bucks. Look, the payment for your your vehicle is not six hundred and um, it's not six hundred and eighty bucks. Okay, fourteen percent of that is due to your old vehicle. What's six eighty times fourteen percent? Ninety five bucks. Ninety five dollars is to pay off your old vehicle. Okay. So your real payment on this one is only $585 a month. Now, we can do this one of two ways. A, you leave here with a $585 a month, which makes you happy, but you gotta come off the hip with another five grand. B, you keep the five grand where it is and you live with the $680 a month. Which one works best for you? I'm already putting five into it. I don't have another five grand to put down. So, but uh, 
I mean, what you're telling me is if you give me another five grand for mine, that would be right where we're at. Remember, Nate, I don't give you anything, okay? The market has determined, based on your year, make, model, trim level, and condition, exactly what your vehicle is worth. All right? Now, I need you to put a check mark by that and okay that right there. Don't do it yet. Um, what about this? Uh, this you, you got two charges on here on top of the price. I, I get a little bit of the market adjustment, but this uh, resist all. I think I can clean my own cars. Um, resist all is not something that you wash your car with okay it is a ceramic based sealant which will keep your paint looking way better let's put it this way nate if you and i both buy this car same car today yours has got resist on mine doesn't we both drive the vehicle 65,000 miles over the next five years we both go to the same dealership to trade those vehicles in Everything else being equal. Your paint looks like it just came off the assembly line. Mine has got loss of gloss due to sun, acid rain, bird droppings, and tree sap. Guess how much more your vehicle will be worth than mine, everything else being equal? Uh, more? Couple thousand dollars. The number one reason someone buys a used vehicle is because of the way it looks. That's how the market values the vehicle, based on the way it looks, okay? Are miles important? Sure, tires important, yeah, but the most important thing is the inside and outside of that vehicle. Look, I tell you what, you're at 680 a month right now for 60 months, okay? You're buying a 30, you're buying a $26,000 vehicle. You're actually not going to pay $680 a month for this vehicle to drive it, okay? Now, what you will do is you will write a check every single month for $680. You will write that check. You will make it out to a lender. You will zap that check either electronically or by snail mail to the lender, all right? That's what you don't want to do. I get it, all right? Look, the average car payment today is $712 a month. So you're under that, congratulations. But it's still the highest payment you've ever had. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do it, I understand. Look, we know this vehicle's gonna depreciate, don't we? Yeah. Here's here, but we also know it's not, not gonna depreciate like it used to for doggone sure. As a matter of fact, used cars last year went up 30%. Wall Street Journal, interesting article about six weeks ago. They said, if you got some extra cash, don't put it in crypto, gold, silver, stocks, or bonds. They said, mm. buy a used car, okay? <laughs> used cars have become appreciating assets. However, what everybody doesn't know is every time you stroke a check for 680 bucks, there is a savings element to that payment. You probably think the lender's gonna keep all that $680, don't you? They're not giving it back to me. Well, you're, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be surprised. A big portion of that payment's coming back to you every single month. Look, when you make that 60th payment, what comes back to you in the mail? Uh, eventually, I'll get a title when North Carolina decides to. And it's going to be free and clear, and it's only going to have your name on it. So five years from now, you've got a vehicle with no payment. You've got a title that's worth, well, this is a $26,000 vehicle. If you drive it and use it like you intend on using it, you don't crash it, you don't trash it, what do you think that vehicle will be worth in five years? Well, if they're appreciating by 30%. Well, we can't count on that, okay? Uh, that yeah. was 21 over 22, or 22 over 21. Hopefully a good 15 grand. Pull that calculator back out. Divide $15,000 by 60. 250. Nate, you know what that 250 represents? I do not. Every time you write a check for 680 bucks, metaphorically speaking, on the way to the lender, 250 of that is diverted to your title. Because at the end of the day, you got a $15,000 um, asset on your balance sheet. You paid 680 a month for it, but you haven't paid 680 a month to drive it. Because if you're going to get 250 back, 680 minus 250 is zero three. 
you're paying $430 a month to drive this vehicle. You're paying $680 to own it. Now, I told you this would be fun and fast. You're slowing us down, my man. I need you okay to okay that right there. Yeah, I'm still at $600. We might just be on the wrong vehicle. Well, the last thing I want to do is move you to an S model, but if that's your choice, I will do it. But are you going to let $2.67 a day stop you from driving the car that you both want and deserve, and you sure as the devil can afford. Um, my wife will kill me if I get home with a payment over $600. No, 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 no. Tell her you're paying four thirty dollars a month to drive it. Tell her that's your net payment. Your gross payment is going to be six eighty, dollars but your net payment is only four thirty. dollars she pays the bill. She's going to see that 680 coming out of it. Well, then you're going to have to have me over for dinner so I can explain this to her. Okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, we can do that. Then uh, 600 minus 250 is even better. I can show her I'm only paying. Nate, read my lips. 600 isn't going to happen unless you put down more cash. Or if you want to extend the term, you know, we can look into that. Yeah, I just can't. You got to do something better, Steve. I'm. I just can't do it. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. I've done everything I can do. Now I'm probably gonna. I'm. You know, depending on what management wants to do, I, they're not gonna go from 680 to 600. No. So I'm gonna probably get a repencil. I'm gonna come back with 66 and 72 months. 